riding my road bike off-road started back when I was in high school. I bought a road bike to train on for BMX. I was a BMX racer, and I just happened to live on dirt roads. So that's kind of where it all started for me, you know, as a kid. In 2012, I made the move from New York back to California, and I started commuting on my Aurora Elite, which is a touring bike. As I was commuting back and forth to work, there was this section at Laguna Beach where I could head up a dirt road through El Moro and just about ride at the front door of my house. What I did was I got home, I pulled off the fenders on the Aurora Elite, slammed some 40C Clement tires on there. Then as I was making my ride home down PCH, I would just cut up El Moro and I could ride dirt all the way in. Then I was thinking, okay, well now how can I, how can I build a road bike that's gonna be able to do all this? The Aurora Elite is a good touring bike, but we wanted to design a bike that was gonna be able to handle more aggressive terrain. So how do we do that? Compared to the Aurora Elite, in the front, I wanted to ride more frame and less stem. In the back, I wanted a little bit quicker rear end. That rear end a little bit shorter, it just made it a lot faster. The wheel bases are about the same. So that longer front end and that shorter stem gives you a little more stability. I like to say you're riding the frame instead of riding the stem. I lowered the BB, that pulls you down into the bike a little bit more, lower center of gravity, so when you're off-road, it's a little bit easier to handle. You feel a little more comfortable with that. After a few rides, I knew we had hit the geometry on the head. The response from Renegade has been overwhelming. People are riding it and demoing it. They love the bike. So now we get to the next chapter. The next chapter is steel. Given the fact that the Renegade was all about the ride experience, there was no question. Steel was the material to use. Who better to build this bike in steel than Janus? We have a long and rich history in steel. Starting from the late 70s, well, we didn't just make bikes out of steel because that's all there was was steel. We made great bikes out of great steel. In 85 and 86, our first Dakar was Philip Bray's. Just a beautiful, beautiful frame. 87, 88, 89, we changed to Tongue Prestige and lugged frames so that we could drop some weight. 1990, 91, 92, we worked with Ben Serrata, produced the Dakar in the USA out of Ritchie Logic Prestige tubing. In 1995, Reynolds introduced their A53 air hardened chromoly tubing, and we were all over it from the beginning. After a year of testing, we were in production as the first production bike company to go to market with an A53 mountain bike, the 1997 Dragon, and A53 road bike, the Eclipse. So we've got a long history and decades of experience in building high-end steel bikes. Most of the bicycle brands in the industry in the middle 90s to the earliest part of the 21st century were abandoning steel. We had never walked away from that material because we believed in the ride quality. Those who just wanted to ride off-road and have a great time, those who wanted to ride on-road for fitness, for fun, and have a great time, the ride quality of steel is unparalleled. The new Renegade Exploit and Expat share the same great features from the Carbon Renegade. We use the same mindset in designing the steel bike as we did the carbon bike. We have the geometry story, where we started with stack and reach geometry. We have three different BB heights, three different rear centers that gives us perfect steps from the 48 to the 61. 48 rider should not ride the same rear center and BB drop as a 61. On the fork front offset, we have three different offsets. Some bikes only have one offset. The reason we went with three different offsets is so we can have that perfect trail number. So when you're switching from a 25C to a 30, 40, 42 tire, we're able to have a more consistent trail, better handling, less wheel flop giving you a great ride, whether you're a 48, 56, or a 61. To add to the versatility Renegade, this bike also has rack mounts for commuting, for light touring. So you can do a 35C with fenders, or a 42 without, full fenders front and rear. We also have full cable housing. That allows us to add a frame pack and not affect the shifting. So riding the steel Renegade is awesome. The steel has got a great dampening property. We use lightweight tube sets. It gives you enough flex, but then it's also stiff when you need it. For the all-around rider that wants a versatile road bike, nothing beats the Renegade series.